Or, or, I mean, he, he normally at this point, I mean, did he go for Mutas? He needs to pop out some Mutas right now or something like that. Bunch of Zerglings streaming in. Is he going to be able to take this with just Zerglings? It looks like he might be able to clean this up, but he's going to lose so much. In the meantime, completely breached his expansion. Is that DT going to get out alive? Oh my gosh, the DT is going to get out alive too. Oh, nope. Decides to turn and hit another, hit another uh, Zergling instead. Random Scourge chilling in the air. No real reason for that. I guess he expected Corsairs to come in uh, and try and help out with that effort with the DTs. So the Stork causing all kinds of damage with just two DTs and three Zealots. Absolutely amazing damage. Taking out Sunken Colonies, Drones, Hydralis then all kinds of stuff stork taking a bit of a lead but again you know the thing is is if modesty can hold out a little bit he's gonna have those four bases going still his natural expansion is pretty good shape he's getting up uh, some more defenses at that uh, third base at the bottom of the map stork's not having any of it though heading out with an archon and five zealots I like the archon mixed in there just in case of mutalists sometimes the mutals will force the zealots to run home but uh, not this time look at this stork at 82 supply to 47 for modesty that's how much he lost in drones and zerglings in that attack and stork is not done yet he is moving in here to try and take out this base once and for all with several zealots this archon as well um let's see if he's going to be able to take it out there's three sunken colonies now hydralis then pops in a good blockade and stork's going to have to turn around a wise move by stork turn around force them to build a lot of sunken colonies uh that's damage in and of itself might as well turn around at this point stork building up a sizable sizable army of of corsairs at this point I like that move. He's going to have complete control of the air. He's taking a third base as well while well, he has some map control. Um, he's got these zealots and the archon and whatever, what have you. And a bunch of red moving around in the middle map. Is that more zealots? Yeah, he has a lot of zealots actually. A lot of plus one speed upgraded zealots on the map for Stork. More than enough to take out uh, almost innumerable zerglings. He's got to be a little bit careful of Mutalus at this point. Um, it is just the one Archon. Where has Corsairs? He kind of needs to move his Corsairs out, have them with his army, because otherwise he does risk having Mutas tear, tear the spot. There's his Corsairs moving out now. Um, Stork pressing in on the natural expansion, though. There's actually less defense at his natural expansion, so he might be able to get more done. Look at these Zerglings. Cannot engage those Zealots. Half of them go down immediately. Modesty, okay, never mind. There's not less defense. Modesty is crapping his pants and trying to get up as many sunken colonies as he possibly can really quickly. He's got over Lords there he's got some scourge but if he takes out the scourge he takes out all the scourge only losing a single corsair six plus one weapon upgraded corsairs are going to take out overlords so quickly and the dt's will be able to just waltz in there oh spore colony at just the right moment he's still going to kill off those overlords but um not going to be able to just waltz dt's in there um no dt waltzing for stork the dt's will have to crunk or do the charleston instead and oh my goodness Wow, High Templar out now, and this is, I just, oh man, Stork is going to make a big attack here. Uh, well, maybe not. He actually might not attack. There's so many sunken colonies that he doesn't really need to attack. He might lose a lot if he attacks. Yeah, Stork's just going to take a fourth base here uh, instead of attacking. I'm really surprised we haven't seen any um, any tech switching, any any kind of tech at all from Modesty, actually. I mean, he's just been making Zerglings and Sunkins, uh, just trying to desperately hold things off. Hopefully that's going to be a Spore colony there, that, that Creep colony building. Um, wow, you know what Stork should do? He should get a shuttle and just drop a few zealots in those expansions because there would be nothing he could do about it he has a bunch of sunken colony okay now he has mutas never mind um well we could send the corsairs in as well um anyway dt drops also going to be effective uh, all on that same note um anyway uh so stork now has a lot of high templar out he's got a lot of zealots there's, he's actually there's that shuttle stork's so smart such a smart guy um but the mutas are in play and he doesn't stork doesn't have very much anti air so he actually could get owned really badly actually oh my gosh this could be actually be really bad if he runs in with those mutas he could pick off those high templar the zealots wouldn't really have much to do and here he goes he's going to drop in probably some zealots i think wow called it um dropping some zealots into the main he's going to run that shuttle out and uh wow and here he comes the mutas coming in here um showing themselves a lot of scourge in the air as well so stork has to be really careful he doesn't want to lose all of his corsairs to the scourge here comes the Scorsairs coming from the side. Where are the Scourge? The Scourge are camping in the middle. He tries to go in for the Corsairs. There's just too many. 
uh, Zealots in the meantime taking out stuff in the main and wow, Modesty forced to retreat with his Mutalisks. Um, he should have to run them back to his main to save his main base, basically. But Stork is not done yet. He's going to drop yet even more Zealots in the main here. Is he going to drop a High Templar as well? No, just Zealots. Um, he's probably going to lose those Zealots to these Mutalisks, but he's done so much damage so far. Look at that, five kills just on that one Zealot. And the Mutalisks are having a, a, a heck of a time getting all the way back up here to this base. He's going to go in and try and snipe the spawning pool. Corsairs are there. Uh, dropping even more in, but Scourge coming in from different directions. Nicely done. Very nice attack. It's going to actually drive off those Corsairs. But the Scourge didn't follow in mass. Only one did, so he's able to turn and fight those Mutas. Are there more Scourge around? He's only got four Corsairs left. The Mutalus cleaning up the, the Zealots in the main base. Um, and Stork decides to just let him die. Uh, he's taking out the spawning pool. He took out, it looks like, a couple creep colonies. Um, not a bad haul at all. Um, wow. And it took out some other buildings. There. Was that a creep colony? It might have been some other kind of tech structure. Um, anyway, wow. So Stork has to play a little bit. Whoa! That Corsair is uh, wow. Kind of a lucky Corsair actually. Lucky that that Archon just happened to be in the right place at the right time. Now Stork switching into Dragoons. I like this move. Dragoons gonna be better anti-air. They're gonna be able to protect those Corsairs against Scourge. There's a lot of Scourge. Oh my God! There's a ton of Scourge. And uh, Modesty is going to go for the main base again and just depend on this massive, massive s survival of Scourge to uh, hold off the Corsairs. He's patrolling them around. He needs to make sure they don't, they don't club up. Here they go. A moving at those Corsairs. If he can clone them better, good enough, then he's going to be able to kill off all those Corsairs. There's just too many Scourge and not enough Corsairs to really kill them off very quickly, effectively. Stork's going to counterattack, though. He's just going to try and uh, protect his main with his reinforcements and counter attacking uh, Modesty's extra base. There's a ton of sunken colonies there, though. I don't think it's going to work. Um, he just doesn't have enough Dragoons uh, to, to really deal with that. Look at these Scourge just kind of chilling, getting hit. Um, is he going to be able to power in here? I don't know. He's just powering down that hatchery so his Zealots can get at the front line of sunken colonies. But I don't know if this is going to work. He's just got a ton of sunks. Um, but he might be able to get in there. Mutalus coming back to help out. Uh, Storm's going off on them, doing a decent amount of damage. There's a few uh, Dragoons there as well to hold them off, but it looks like he's actually... Wow, there was... Somehow he's busted through all those sun colonies. He's lost most of his zealots, but it doesn't even matter at this point. Storming everything uh, that gets nearby. Oh, nice storm takes out almost all the mutalists. All those storms slowly pecking away at those mutalists. Finally, he lands a nice one and finishes them all off. Tons of sun colonies morphing. If they all were able to morph in right this moment, he might be able to hold things off with some reinforcements, but it looks like Stork's going to actually pick off most of those colonies before they can even finish morphing. Modesty's going to lose his third base going to go down to three days is his fourth base is going to turn into his third base look at this he's just uh, trying to set up a desperate you know second tier defense over at his expansion base but he has no tech right now he's lost all of his mutas he hasn't gotten lurkers and stork has a huge huge lead right now uh lots of zerglings streaming down there but i don't think zerglings are going to be able to do much against this kind of an army he's got plus two archons plus two zealots dragoons to back up as well and uh i don't think modesty is going to be able to hold this stork may be able to take game one of this OSL semi-final series here if he's able to kill off these bases uh, I, and I don't know if there's any way Modesty can come back actually he put up a valiant effort trying to counterattack. and there's GG coming from Modesty Stork takes game one in absolutely epic fashion wow 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 Modesty going a little bit too greedy at the beginning there Stork punishing him with just a few units and it was kind of you know, Modesty was kind of on the back foot the entire time after that. Um, wow. So, pretty amazing play, though, by Stork. Once he had that advantage, just started expanding and expanding. And eventually, I mean, he was he was basically even on bases uh, before too long. He was going four base versus four base. And, uh, you know, was just dominating and, and, and doing a really good job of defense as well, actually. Modesty had some really good attacks with those Mutalists. And uh, he looks as surprised as I am that they didn't do more damage. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that game. That was game one. Let's go ahead and move on to game two. Let's see if Stork can take himself to an even greater lead. Trying to get himself to the OSL finals once again. Or is Modesty the uh, sort of fluke zerg of the season, as uh, Nuke the Stars put it, uh, can come back here and uh, tie it up. Try and take it to some more games and make it to the finals himself. Alright, thanks very much for watching.
어, 아침 태기 세웠던 승리. 2, 3세트가 어쨌든 전적상 적응.